Vitamin D has attracted a lot of attention in recent months. It's been the subject of numerous reports linking vitamin D deficiency to many health issues. And it's being touted as a way to possibly prevent many chronic diseases. Yes, it has. So I spent some time recently with an integrative physician who's emerging as a leading expert on this topic. Dr. Saram Khalsa brings a remarkable array of skills to his medical practice. In addition to being a board-certified internist, he's a homeopathist, acupuncturist, and nutritional expert. He's also an American Sikh, so he's a master in yoga and its health benefits. But he's recently delved deeply into the subject of vitamin D and published a book on its health benefits. When vitamin D is present, it's able to turn off the genes that contribute to cancer, turn off the genes that contribute to inflammatory problems, turn on the genes to promote our immune system. Dr. Kalsa says studies show that 30 to 50 percent of all American adults and up to 70 percent of children are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with 17 types of cancer, with heart disease, with diabetes, with osteoporosis, with multiple sclerosis, with high blood pressure, with so many of the chronic illnesses that we see in our society. He says that for adults, the current recommended daily allowance for vitamin D in the U.S. ranges from up to 600 international units a day. But he says healthy adults really need 2,000 units a day. Vitamin D is measured by a blood test, and Dr. Kalsa says most Americans have a vitamin D blood level in the range of 20 or 30. He says raising that level to 50 or more can deliver huge benefits, especially with regard to breast cancer. The st epidemiologic studies have shown that if every woman kept her blood level of vitamin D at above 52, the incidence of breast cancer would be expected to drop by 50 percent. Other research has shown that men with vitamin D deficiency were 200 percent more likely to have a heart attack than men who had a normal level of vitamin D. Supplements are one easy way to get therapeutic levels of vitamin D. Tapping into the power of the sun for vitamin D can be tricky. The sun is a double-edged sword. We get sun, we're able to make vitamin D. We get too much sun, we're going to contribute to skin cancer. As I say to my patients, when you let your children go out to play, give them a few minutes, whether it's five or ten minutes, and there's a lot of factors based on including skin type and the time of year on how many minutes, we give them five or ten minutes of sun without sunblock and then put on the sunblock, and the same for adults. Dr. Kalsa says even in sunny Southern California, where he's built a thriving practice, over 90 percent of his new patients have a vitamin D deficiency. So he says regular testing is essential. Every adult should have, every child as well, should have a 25 hydroxy vitamin D level checked at least once a year. And of course Dr. Kalsa's new book has in-depth information on how to harness all the healing benefits of vitamin D. Judy, are there any risks in upping our intake of vitamin D? Well, Dr. Kalsa says that it's very, very slight. In fact, he's only found one or two true incidents of vitamin D toxicity. And he says it's so easy and inexpensive to boost our intake of vitamin D. And we get so many benefits from vitamin D at a therapeutic level. That it's something virtually all of us should be doing right now. 